I'm giving away one of these on this episode. How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flare Bartending Tips. Yes, these are tips to improve your flare bartending skills. Whether you are a complete beginner or a seasoned pro, I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks that I've learned over my 20 odd year career, winning multiple championships and world championships, and share them with you through this. This is called the Tom's Fly Flare Bottle. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning one of these fabulous flare bottles is uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So go and hit subscribe and then leave a comment in the comments box below. And if you're there, you may as well click that like button as well because they're really close to one another and that'll be really helping me out. Thank you so much. Right, let's jump straight into today's episode where I'm gonna be showing you six, one, two, three, five, six working flare moves with some pause which you can use behind the bar. All the moves I'm gonna show you today can be used on their own, or you can put them into sequences and routines as well. The first one I'm gonna show you is the back to front double catch. Looks like this. All right, let's break it down. You need to learn the back to front. When you're throwing the bottle back to front, you need to push the neck of the bottle to counteract the spin so the bottle flies up flat. Because don't forget, you're gonna have a bottle which is about half full. So you're gonna hold onto the shaker with your thumb and index finger and release these three fingers over here. Woohoo! First learn how to do this, okay? And then when you've got this move, you can put the two together and hey presto, two objects in one hand. Now the last part is probably the easiest but can be confusing. The trick here is once you let go of the bottle, you bring the shaker down to then catch the bottle into a pour. So the whole thing looks like this. Pow. Right, next up is the roll switch, a very, very used move in the world of flare bartending. Looks like this. You can come and make a pour afterwards if you would like to. Okay, break it down. Again, with this move, there's a few elements that you need to learn to be able to master the move. That is a roll, and I did a video on rolls. If you wanna check that one out first, learn how to do some rolls, I'll wait, not that long. All the bottle is doing in this move is this. The roll, you've got the base inwards, sort of towards you, okay? You're gonna throw up to do a spin, as we've done in that previous video and you're gonna catch it in front of you like this. Once you start the roll, you're gonna throw the bottle up, focus on the catch of the shaker, then catch the bottle. So roll, throw, catch, catch. Ready? Roll, throw, catch, catch. If you see, you can almost grab the shaker off of your arm before it even falls off and catch it here. You can finish this move straight into a pour as well. So you can come around and then make a pour and booyah tribe inside the ride. That is the roll switch. The next move is the move I like to call the Andre pour. Looks like this. Let's break it down. I really like this because you don't have to stop at the pour. When you pick up the items, you're gonna pick up the shaker and a beer grab. You're gonna pick up the bottle like this. You're gonna come over and put the bottle inside the shaker, pour spout down, but continue around like this. And when you get to here, you're gonna throw both objects to let go. They're gonna fly in the air and separate, and then you catch into a pour. It looks like this. Really, really nice move, I really like it. You can play around with it and see if you can come up with any upgrades. If you come up with some upgrades, let me know on Instagram, Tom Dye Bartender, tag me in your stories. Okay, up next is one of my signature moves, I'm calling it the Tommy D Switch. The Tommy D Switch. Looks like this. Quite a tough move to get, but 
I'm gonna break it down for you. If you're liking this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know that you like it. And if you want, subscribe so you can know when I upload more of these super cool, awesome videos so that you can improve your flare skills. This is a flash move and there's two things happening. The shaker is coming up from back to front and you wanna throw that just flat. You wanna try and keep it as flat and horizontal as possible, like this. The bottle in which you're holding in this position, you're gonna swing. So you're gonna throw the bottle up, it's gonna turn and you're gonna catch it behind your back like this. Now a little top tip here is when you throw the bottle, get the bottle high and the tin low. Bring it low, break it down slow. You're catching the bottle in the same hand that you're throwing it, you're catching the tin in the same hand that you're throwing it. So you can finish it like this and come and make a pour or you can turn around and then make a pour after that. Oh. Up next, we're moving on to three objects, two tins and one bottle. The move looks like this. It's time to break it down. To start with, the grab on the shakers. You want an index finger on the bottom shaker, the middle finger on the second shaker, and you want these two fingers free. What's happening with the bottle? That's landing in there and you're grabbing hold of it with your little finger or with two fingers. Right, once you've got that grab, it's the same back to front throw that we had before. This time you need to put a slight turn on it because you're gonna land it inside that top shaker. So you're gonna come up and land it in there. So from there you can release that other shaker and then pour that liquid inside your second shaker. Now you can choose to just take that shaker off and pour like this, or you can release that shaker and then pour. Right, the sixth, sixth and final pour is a Tommy D special. This is another move which I used to use on stage. Looks like this. This is a really easy move actually, so let's break it down. The first part is you wanna have those two shakers in your hand slightly separated. You're then placing the, the shaker in your hand like this. I'm taking it off, I'm coming around, I'm making a figure of eight like this. And then when I come up to do the pour, it's nice to adding a little thumb roll to that other shaker. So around, around, thumb roll, pour, pose, you're still pouring, don't forget. And then when you cut, you're gonna take it down, okay? So you're gonna grab hold of the shaker, spin it down. And then if you're feeling fruity, you can do a double spin behind the back, or you can bump it off your arm and catch it behind your back. Now you're left like this. The way you finish this off is you can just roll that and make another pour with the shaker, or you can carry on if you're doing a routine or whatever it is you may do. I like the simple roll and pour. <sighs> There we go, ladies and gents, boys and girls. My top six working flare moves and pause. I hope you like them. Big thank you to all my patrons that have joined up recently. I really, really do appreciate all your help and support. Anybody else who's looking to get involved in the Patreon team, I'm posting three minute Thursday videos over there. Uh, I'm also sharing a few other bits and bobs as well. And you can have some personal contact with me. Just gotta send me a message and say hi. We're gonna check it out. There's a link in the description below and I really do appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much. I hope you're liking the new content, the new setup. Let me know in the comments box below what kind of stuff you wanna see me go through in future flare bartending videos. And don't forget, if you wanna win one of these, just make sure you're subscribed and leave that comment in the comments box below and I'll be announcing who will win one of these bad boys in the next video. So click that bell so you'll be notified when that video goes live to see if you're the winner. Just before I go, thank you very much to everybody who put on a comment to last week's video to win the 10 piece cocktail set. We are gonna choose a winner right now. Just like that. Congratulations to Alessandro De Mari. I'm gonna get that cocktail set sent straight to you. Just drop me a message and we'll get that sorted out. Good luck to everybody this week. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Till next time, I'll see you then.